hope everyone's doing okay. I currently have COVID. I've lasted two years, managed to not get it. Um, and then Mark got it last week um, from school, from work. And now I've got it. And so I feel fine, but my voice is kind of going in and out because of my throat. So if at any point I'm a bit, if I sound croaky, it's just my voice. So at the minute I'm kind of like, <laughs> So I wanted to do an update review for the Estrid razor and I've done a previous review of this already which is on my YouTube. I think it's now been a year since I published that and I was contacted by Estrid on my for my like my other Instagram account that I have which I'll tag just if anyone's interested. And I they said like do you want one? I know that they've done it to a few people and they did do it to me a while ago not long after I got the first one and they they offered like a free one for me so I said yes and basically used it on my other Instagram and got the brand new matcha matcha colour. So I decided to, I thought I'd show like the the colour of it and stuff and do a bit of an update of where we are with the current one. So at the minute this is my one that I've got now. The thing is that I found it's, you can see where it's got like black mould coming around this bit and not like I personally it's not something that massively bothers me because this is it's been kept i'll show a little clear this is it being kept on the little holder in the shower and this is what's happened to it and i don't know if estrid have had any feedback from it or if they've said anything i kind of wanted to do this as part of that because i haven't seen anyone mention it i know i need to now dip this in bleach but in terms of a design for it, it's obviously because where the rubber handle here uh, meets the metal it's like it's got in there and it's not a very good design and that's the only thing basically that I've kind of it, I mean like even like here in the bit where you push the blade out needs a like a good old clean and the reason I haven't is because whenever it comes to it I'm using the razor like now I'm looking at it I'm going to give it a really good clean but so I wanted to do an update review on that and kind of show everyone how it's going um, so I think this is now a year old, um, but it's still in good nick. I mean, nothing's broken. It's still completely usable. I mean, I hardly ever get new shave heads because I hardly ever use it. I mean, I still think it's brilliant and I still recommend it, but that is something that I wanted to kind of make people aware of. Now I want to show you guys the new one. And I know my other video shows this as well, but I think it's really exciting when you get things to unbox. Um, this is pretty much how I remember it from before. It's all really nice their packaging because it's all paper as well so you can just recycle everything. And it comes in quite a nice box. It's quite, you know, pretty. And you open it up and you've got, it's literally just that and then that and another separate one so you've kind of got layers of packaging without it being like bad, like plastic and all that kind of crap. In here is where you've got all of your goods as it were. So and I have been, I mean, like if you want to see my other video for more detail then, by all means. So it comes with kind of like this little booklet, which I kind of remember in a little card. And the card basically says like, thank you, um, you know, the good faith behind it and everything. Please follow the following steps. So I don't think this was in it last time. It might have been, but I don't remember it. So I'll have to look back on my own video. But it says water and time equals rest. We want to avoid as many unnecessary chemicals and coatings as possible, but it might burst. The hold will take care of your razor when you're not around. Just remember to use it. Just remember to store it in a dry place. Rinse your estrid with water to keep it clean and pretty pretty. <laughs> I always keep mine in the shower. Um, I don't know how many other people do that. I've just done it out of kind of habit. Um, sometimes I take it out, of, take it off the holder and I put it in a jar, like a little like glass container thing. But what I might do is do a separate video as well on cleaning it because I don't know how many people have experienced this problem, but I might just kind of do a little kind of satisfying video of like, because I've just taken the head off and obviously once you've done with that you throw it in the bin but like taking that off the holder and giving it all a good clean I think that might be quite beneficial for us to like go over and make sure that we're doing the right using it properly so the one I had before is in blush so you get one spare razor head and these are all five blades so prepare yourselves for the new matcha colour <laughs> now I'm, to be honest, I was just so satisfied because it's just so nice and clean. It, it just, it feels kind of nicer than that one. It's like, it's like this one's like smooth almost. I don't know if that's what it was like before. It's really weird. Like, I think this is more, if you could see it with the naked eye, you'd see there's more, it feels like more like metal. It's a lot more, um, it's like a brighter green than I thought it would be. Um, I thought it would be a bit more, 
like matcha coloured <laughs> as it were but this is quite it's still like a really nice colour um and then you get the holder comes in like a separate little thing it says lick me and I will stay forever <laughs> um and that's really satisfying as well just to get a new little holder for it um and like before it has the arrow on so it tells you like where to put it and then you just hold it over that fabulous it's quite handy though because I was about to order new razor heads and then I was like had the email and I was like oh fab yeah I'll have to have a new one <laughs> and when it's delivered that like there is a plastic head that comes on this one but it tends to come off in the post I mean this one's really nice um, I think in my last review, like a year ago, I was kind of saying about it, it being quite um, about using it on like sensitive areas and saving in certain places. And this one now, um, now I've got used to it. It's amazing. Like it, I'd rather use that than most. I don't know if it's because of if you look on like the shaving head, how much soap there is on it. I just never have a problem. So I definitely recommend it now. I can't even fault it. I even thought I was like, I might get my friend one because I don't know what razor she uses, but they're really nice. And like, and is it really sad to get loads of different colours? Like they're so nice. And you can get travel ones, you can get the like the little holder for them to take them on holiday. I think they're really nice. And as someone who, like I don't use razor heads loads, so it's not that much for me when it comes to buying them because they last loads longer than like a really horrible plastic one. I'd always use these. So I do still 100% recommend them. They're still amazing. They're great to hold. There's everything about them. They've been well thought out. I'm going to take better care of that one and make sure I clean it more. And I'm going to do a little video on how to clean this one. Very pretty <laughs> and very nice. So i excited to use them. It's brilliant. It's all sustainable. You can recycle all the packaging. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have used Estrid or watched my other review, please let me know. And comment what you think. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Comment what you think. And I'll see you guys soon. Ever since the day that you went away.